and welcome back to my channel so today is my first ever vlog of my full-time travel um i'm leaving tomorrow to begin full-time traveling i quit my job last week and um so did my boyfriend alex and we are going to be traveling together um we're starting out in europe and leaving tomorrow and it honestly it doesn't feel real like we've been planning this for about a year and it's finally happening and it's crazy i'm nervous but excited but nervous so here we go <laughs> flight is at 6 a.m tomorrow so we need to leave where we live at about 2 30 a.m so not getting a load of sleep it's about nine o'clock at the moment we just need to finish off the last little bits of packing and then we're all good to go and i'm excited to go it's been a bit of a nightmare packing so i'm excited for it to be done and to just go um and it is like a hundred degrees in the uk at the moment it is so hot i don't know what's happened um it's literally been like the coldest summer ever and now all of a sudden it's boiling so um it's been a bit of a mission uh the last two days trying to pack in this heat um but we're nearly there <laughs> it's because it's hot okay it's so hot but we are packed i think i think so we're packed but i think we might be slightly overweight but i think we'll be fine um and we're gonna get like two three hours, hours sleep. sleep two hours sleep um before we head off oh we're gonna try Oh, we're hot. gonna try it is hot we've got the fan going don't worry guys we, we're like complaining about the heat already knowing very well that we're going to europe which is like probably gonna be hotter than this so so be it got a little starbies it's so empty in gatwick which is like amazing because it's usually never this empty is it and we have an hour until our gate information comes out so we're just chilling Madeira, an autonomous region of Portugal, is an archipelago comprising of four islands off the northwest coast of Africa. It is known for its namesake wine and warm subtropical climate. The main island of Madeira is volcanic, green and rugged, with high cliffs, pebbly beaches and settlements on the deltas of the Fajra River. Capital Funchal has botanical gardens and is known for its harbour and a large New Year's firework show. confess i have been horrendous at filming and it's like day one um <laughs> i did get some cute little bits we tried to watch the sunset go down that didn't happen we went for a swim at this like most beautiful beach in the world but like the worst seaweed you have ever seen it was horrendous like it was it was so bad like clumps of seaweed um, Alex is ready for bed. 
I'm ready for bed. We slept a total of an hour and 22 minutes, according to my Fitbit, last night. And then like a little bit on the plane. Um, and we have to be up at four because there's a hike happening tomorrow. So we better get some sleep. You guys brain early, 4 a.m. You excited? Yay! <laughs> It is officially morning. I am dressed and ready to go. Are you dressed and ready to go? I am. <laughs> um, we are going to watch the sunrise at like the famous three peaks of Madeira. We are not doing the hike, but other people are doing it and we're just going to watch the sunrise at a peak which is cool but it's early and I don't think the sun comes up till seven but let's let's go see that sunrise last night we just kind of had a chill afternoon when we got back to the hotel and had an early night and Alex still looks tired <laughs> um but today we are going to do the cable car and the botanical gardens and then the yeah down the in the like toboggan thing and then a walking tour which should be really cool um but we're going down for breakfast first which I'm excited because apparently it's like fruit and stuff. I feel like we've just not had stuff like that yet. I'm excited. So we're going down for breakfast. The view from our hotel is like actually so cute. Um, but like if you look at the clouds over there, they um are like our height. So when they come in, it like envelops us and we become part of the cloud, which is kind of cool, but really weird because it's like misty. And then we've like these beautiful flowers everywhere. It's so weird. It's such like a weird terrain, but it's so pretty. sitting on this like side of the road waiting for people <laughs> um we went out in funchel funchel is that how you say it funchel, funchel tonight and it's like 3 a.m at the moment and we're like in the middle of nowhere um but one of us wasn't able to get into the clubs so we're just waiting to see if they're able to get into one of the other clubs and then we're going to see if we are just going back to the hotel or we have to milk up this like massive hill that's in front of us um and i'm just not i'm not really willing to walk up it unless i know that we're going to get into that club and also i kind of want my bed <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> is actually quite cheap like this was our first day coming into Funchal and I low key love it like I wish we had stayed closer into Funchal because it's like it I don't know it feels more European don't you think yeah yeah I don't know it's different the rest of the island feels like 
I don't know, it just feels... You have to go far to get to like... To get anywhere, it's far. And like our hotel yeah. is quite far out, so... Yeah, and, so and to be honest, I'm a city girl. So <laughs> I kind of knew I was going to prefer the city. to the traditional thatched houses. I think these are the houses they used to have in the olden days. Yeah. We made it. <laughs> On somebody's doorstep waiting for my family to finish up in the gift shop um before we where are we going we're going to the marina tonight for dinner because some of us are going on a fishing cruise um we are not doing that because i don't really want to go out to the ocean but um we're gonna meet them after their cruise in the marina and apparently it's like really pretty there so i am excited for that are you excited for that i'm excited He's excited. Once again, been a busy day. We have made it back to the hotel now. It is um, like 10 o'clock. Did some minor packing because we're not leaving tomorrow, but we're leaving early the next day um, to get our next flight. And we were a little bit overweight on the way here and had to pay a little bit extra. So we're hoping to pack it right so we don't have to again. Good ready to sleep our room is a tip but it's okay just taking some ibuprofen so i'm feeling a little bit better than i was earlier um but i'm still feeling quite rough but good night's sleep and hopefully i will feel better in the morning so style I am walking in slides once again 